wins there for Bidori. Seen him in WSB a couple of times. He's a tricky customer, an awkward customer. Quarter finalist at the Asian Championships has moved up to 56 kilos this year. Previously was at flyweight. And that was a good win, that was a big win for Mandy. So we've just seen an Indian fighter lose. And those Indian supporters are hoping that on this occasion they can get their man through. Final in the Bantam weight division. In the red, there we have Bilal Mandi of Tunisia in the blue, Gaurav Bidouri of India. Mandi, Southport, taller of the two, quite significantly the taller of the two, a longer reach. Bidouri, though, won't be worried about that. They'll look to try and get onto the inside and get busy. As I said, he's an awkward kind of customer. He's just on the eye most of the time in terms of style. I think it's fair to say, but uh, he's got plenty of results in his career. And Andy will have to get used to a fair amount of this, a bit of mauling on the inside. He needs to maintain that gap, Mandy, is what he needs to do. He needs to keep that bit of distance between him and try and get Bidori on the end of his punches, because as I say, he's got that reach advantage that comes with his superior height and he said use his jab to try and stop Bidori just barreling forward and muscling his way onto the inside little body there was a decent shot from Andy but the lead right hook was miles off and then Bidori again he just marauds forward there's not a massive amount of technique involved there but stopping it is not easy Throws one to there, Mandy, and then just moves in behind it. If he could pop off that jab backhand and then just take a step back. That's more where he needs to be. Well, he's already forced to give a bit of ground there. And he's in with a right to the body there, the Indian. Two there from Mandy. Good to see Mandy just spear that jab out, bang that jab out. Doing with the high guard. Here. It has been, you saw the gesture from the referee there, and this is always on the cards when you have a fighter of Adori's kind of style. I had another one very similar in Vincenzo Mangia Capra yesterday against Abakan Jusupov, and the heads came together in that fight. And fighters like that who kind of stay on the outside and then spring forward, they don't lead with their head, they don't even bring in their head that low, but when you fly in at that kind of pace, it's always a possibility. And Bidori just working on the inside there. And this one too there. From Mandy. And if he stays in there and the referee doesn't break them, then that's where it's going to get rough for him. Touch of gloves at the end of the first round and tight round that and he looks like he may have the tools here to be able to take care of Bidori but he's not really utilising them yet
It's a nice one too, but he just came over the top of the front foot a bit as he threw that that left hand and his weight was forward and he got stuck and then Bidori just fires back with punches to the body. Andy really wants to try and keep this clean, keep it on the outside, keep it long. Bidori's going to want to get it down and dirty, just get up close to him. So a big Armenian community in yeah. Germany, but particularly in Hamburg, and Hovhannis Batchkov is in action for too long. So they're here to see. Dory just wondering about the heads there. Dory just looking to throw on the inside. Mandy trying to find a response. Dory just doing a little bit of complaining in there. The referee telling Mandy about the head, telling him to keep it up. So he's got to be careful, but it's not necessarily such a bad thing to see him mix it a little bit more like that. And it's rough on the inside there, but he's got to give as good as he gets in here, Mandy. That's really, really important. Dory, as I say, will drag you through the mud. Well, Bidori again is unhappy about this. Is he going to take a point here, the referee? He has taken a point through bringing the head up. I'm not, I'm not too sure about that myself. It takes two to tango, and when Bidori's involved, I don't want to be too harsh on him, but he does have that style when Bidori's involved. It's very difficult to solely blame the other fighter if the heads come together. It really is. It's the same yesterday with Manji Kapra and Jusupov. A point was taken from Jusupov, and I found it surprising because, well, Kaduri's come up with his head there, for instance, straight away. Left hand there from Mandy. That makes it difficult for Mandy now. Not impossible. Time out called. The Indian fighter just put his glove straight up, I think, because his gum shield had come out. It's really up to the referee to decide when to hold the action, not the fighter. Just the exertion of it came flying out. Left to the body there from Mandy was a good-looking shot. He's looking to plant his feet a bit more and let his hands go, and Midori on the inside. Throwing the right hand. It's a good fight this now. It, there's a bit of needle in there, I think. Good jab from Mandy. Caught the door on the way. Nice backhand as well. This is what he needs to do. Use those tools. Dory nips one up the middle and then goes for the overhand right. Heads rubbing together again there. Body from Mandy. He's having a good finish to the round here, the Tunisian. He's lost the point, of course, but if he takes the round, then he makes up for it, at least right to the body. Nice body attack there. Vidori trying to come back with something, does with the right hand right on the belt. And this is going to be interesting now because well, it was a tight first round. Like Mandy the winner of that round, but he's lost a point. So you would say that he still needs this final round, or that point deduction could turn a possible 2-1 advantage in rounds into a draw. If it's a draw, and the judges are required to, so for example, you have a situation where of the five judges, two score it to... 
Mamdi and one scores it to Bidori and two have scored draws. Then those two judges who scored draws will have to decide who they think has won. They return the draw, so we'll have to decide who they think has won because we have to. Have a winner. As returned by those five judges. in the fight well I'm not sure you could say that one of them was particularly to blame for that there hasn't been a point taken so the referee isn't saying that there's quite a lot of blood there definitely given as a head clash so if he cannot continue because of this well he can but if he couldn't have continued then he would have gone to the cards telling Baduri to keep his head up and as I've been saying all along it's, it takes two to tango with this it really does and I do think he's been unlucky Mandy to have that point taken and his blood just streaming down his forehead here but there's only 20 seconds or so remaining in the fight but still the referee is going to take him back over to the doctor and just stopping the flow of blood is going to be hard here and I think they might wave it off head clash a head clash the previous time as well so the gloves are going to come off here the doctor has said that these two cannot continue due to that cut to Mamdi you didn't actually see the referee wave it off there but that's what's happened and he did indicate clearly that it was due to a head clash so we will go to the cars we're only 22 seconds away from the end of the fight anyway so it's not going to make too much difference but this is going to be interesting because he's had a point taken, Mamdi. My feeling was on the balance of that fight that he was the better fighter, but he won't necessarily win because the judges have seen it differently to me and he's also had that point deduction. If he is to get through, Mamdi, he's going to have to try and get that healed up. 
bit of bruising there on the forehead of the Dory. Ladies and gentlemen, we will be the winner by split decision in the blue corner. The Dory gets it in the blue corner, and there were two drawn scores in there, but he has got it 3 0. The drawn scores, the judges don't have to give an opinion either way because the Dory has got it 30 points to 26 with the warning and 229 27. So we got it two rounds to one with Uzbekistan and Bulgaria anyway. Three rounds to nil with Ukraine. I think that's harsh on Mamdi, personally, but it's Padori who goes through to the semi finals. Now the heads wallop together. But it was an interesting fight to watch. You know, he's a wholehearted fighter, Baduri. 